Welcome back to Maths and an Empty Classroom with me, Mr. Subble. This is part five of the video on binomial expansions, uh, and in this video I'll be explaining how to use a binomial expansion to perform an approximation. So here we have a two-part question. We're being asked to write down the first four terms in ascending powers of x of 1 plus 2x to the power 8. We're then being asked to use the expansion to estimate the value of 1.02 to the power of 8, giving our answer to four decimal places. Uh, so first of all, let's look at the first four terms. That's going to take us up to x cubed with 1 plus 2x to the power of 8. So first term is going to be 8 choose 0, 1 to the power of 8, 2x to the power of 0. Next term we're going to have 8 choose 1, 1 to the power of 7, 2x to the power of 1. Then 8 choose 2, 1 to the power of 6, 2x squared, and 8 choose 3, 1 to the power of 5, 2x cubed. Okay, so that is 1 times 1 times 1. So the first term in our expansion is 1. 8 choose 1 is 8, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 2x. So the second term in our expansion is 16x. 8 choose 2 is 28, times 1, multiplied by 4x squared, because we are squaring the 2 as well as the x. And 28 times 4 is 112, so we have 112x squared. Finally, 8 choose 3 is 56, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 8x cubed, because we're cubing the 2, and that is 448x cubed. And that's the first four terms, so that is approximately equal to 1 plus 2x to the power of 8. And the approximate symbol is really important here because we're looking at approximation, um, and we'll understand why when we come to doing part B. So part B is saying use your expansion to estimate the value of 1.02 to the power of 8. So we're going to be using 1 plus 2x to the power of 8 to approximate 1.02 to the power of 8. And what you can probably see by laying it out like that is that we need to work out what x would have to be so that when we substitute it in here we get 1.02. So we're going to start by solving the equation 1 plus 2x equals 1.02. That would mean that 2x would be 0.02 and x would be 0.01. So that is the value of x that we need to use and what I need to do is to substitute this value of x into the terms of my expansion and that will give me an approximate value of 1.02 to the power of 8. So here we go. Uh, so 1.02 to the power of 8 is approximately equal to 1 plus 16 lots of 0 0.01 plus 112 lots of 0 0.01 squared uh, plus 448 lots of 0 0.01 cubed. So I'm just going to get my calculator and work that out. So, uh, and I've got 1.171648 as my approximate value. And what I can do to check here is I can work out the actual value of 1.02 to the power of 8 uh, and compare it. So I'm just going to do that now. 1.02 to the power of 8 uh, and the true answer is 1.171659381. It's just writing every number on my calculator screen. And as you can see it's pretty good. It's a pretty decent approximation. It's quite close to the real answer. You should expect that. Um, you won't be able to do an approximation with a binomial expansion unless you're going to get something reasonably close. So it's a good checkpoint. 
Now, the reason that we've got something quite close is that these expansions for approximations are quite good for small values of x. The reason they're good for small values and not so good for bigger values is because with a small value of x, the larger power you use, the smaller that becomes. So if you think 0.01 to the power of 8 is going to be a tiny, tiny, tiny number. So it doesn't matter that we've stopped the expansion at x cubed. However, if you imagine we were trying to sub in x equals 2, for example, the fact that we don't have the powers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is going to make a huge difference because when you raise 2 to each of those powers, that's a massive number that you're not going to have when you use your approximation. What I've actually done um, is uh, I've cracked out Desmos and I've got Desmos to draw in red the graph of 1 plus 2x to the power of 8. So that is the full graph, all the terms of the expansion. And in blue, what I have here is the expansion that we have so far, the first four terms. Uh, 1 plus 16x plus 112x squared plus 448x cubed. And you can see how the curve in blue is quite close to the curve in red for these small values of x, but the bigger x gets, the further and further away that curve gets from being um, the same as 1 plus 2x to the power of 8. Uh, what I'm just going to do, I'm going to add in one more term. I'll be out of shot for just a moment. Uh, the next term is 1020x to the power of 4. And if I add that in, you can see that what's happened is the blue curve has got closer to the red curve for a larger interval of values of x. Now, sometimes we talk about range of validity, so for which values of x is your expansion valid. And what you have to do is you have to look at the x bit, and it's when that is between negative 1 and 1. So if I were to say that 2x is between negative 1 and 1, then my expansion is going to be valid for x values between negative a half and one half. And what that means is if I use an x value in this interval, I'm going to get an answer for my approximation that's quite close to the real one. As you can see here, what we did 0.01. If I use a value of x that's outside this range, my approximation is not going to be very good. So you should only use these approximations for small values of x, and then you'll get an answer that's quite close to the true one. Thanks very much for your company.